Percy wasn't feeling well. His joints ached and he couldn't breathe properly. The Fat Controller came with an inspector who examined Percy and made notes in a small book. When they had finished, the Fat Controller looked serious. You'll have to go to the works, Percy. They'll make you feel better, but it will be a long job. Who will look after my trucks? Toby can't do everything on his own. He certainly can't. I shall borrow another engine. The only engine the other relic could spare was a diesel shunter. Duck was at the big station when he heard an oily purring noise. He recognised the new arrival at once. It's diesel, he thought. What's he do back here for? The back controller sent him away after he dumped some china clay trucks into the sea. The fat controller was cross too, but he needed another engine and Diesel was the only one available. When Diesel reached the junction, Thomas was waiting with Annie and Clarabelle. Hello, you've come to help Toby, I suppose. Well, no tricks, mind you. Tricks? What? Me? I'm just delighted to be of assistance to you. Again. Good. I'll believe it when I see it. Diesel pulls some trucks and carefully to park the box where Toby met him. Oh, it's you, is it? Well, do your shunting, please, and then take these stone trucks to the harbour. Thomas and Toby made it clear to Diesel that they would stand no nonsense. Of course, they remembered the time he was sent away for telling lies about Duck to the trucks. Yes, Thomas. I understand, Thomas. Of course, Thomas. The trucks knew about the last time Diesel was sent packing after he dumped the trucks into the sea. Let's have some fun! They teased Diesel and tried to annoy him, slipping their brakes accidentally on purpose. One morning, they went too far. Here is Diesel! Diesel. Oil, Oil creature! creature. Yes, yes, Thomas! Thomas. Of course, Thomas, anything you say, Thomas. Diesel could stand no longer. Oh, God. Hmm. I'll teach you. The oldest truck, who was also the rudest, was at the front. Too late, he saw what would happen. Oh! Help! With a loud crash, he hit the buffers. For a moment, the oldest and rudest truck was squeezed between the buffers and the other trucks. Then both he and the buffers collapsed, and all the broken pieces were pushed onto the road. Oh, God. Oh. Come on, you. Any more nonsense and I'll squash you all flat just like your friend. The fat controller was furious. That mixed in with the fact that you tricked Fergus into wandering into the smelter's yard did not help. You will go back to the other railway as soon as I can arrange it. And this time, you will not be coming back. Ever. When the Fat Controller had finished with him, Diesel was glad that he was going home. A day or two later, Daisy was running downhill when she felt something warm and wet splashing her wheels. 
At the next station, she felt hot and her joints were stiff. You've lost your oil. Bertie will have to take your passengers. Thomas then arrived with Annie and Carver full of people on their way home from market. Thomas started confidently up the hill, but his wheels began to slip on Daisy's walk and he slithered to a stop. Then there was trouble. Help! Help! I'm slipping back! Near the bottom of the hill were special points to divert runaway trucks off the line. Thomas could not stop his heavy train from pulling him downhill towards these points. Carnival's back wheels were directed off the line. They sank firmly into the mud and Thomas stopped. That's torn it. The guard helped the passengers back to the station. Diesel was at the station, pulling his last train before going home in disgrace. He sniggered slyly when he heard about Thomas. Serves him right, that's what I say. But what about Annie Clarabel and the passengers of this that serve them right to her? And besides, he's also blocking the line and no one can get them. Oh bother, I shall have to help or I'll never get home. And Diesel set off to the rescue. At the only place he could stop, he walked really carefully to the wall until he coupled up to Thomas. Meanwhile, workmen had put sleepers on the Clarabelle to make a smoke up to the line. Then they cleaned the oil off the rails and put dry sand on them. At last, everything was ready. Diesel dug his wheels into the sand and pulled, but he was careful not to pull too hard in case the coupling broke. With sanded rails, Thomas could help too. The engines moved forward a little way and stopped. Then a bit more until inch by inch, Clarabelle came safely back onto the track. Clarabelle was unhurt. So, they went back for the passengers. Then, using plenty of sand, both engines pulled the train up the hill. Thank you, Diesel. You were splendid. After the Fat Controller learned about how he saved Thomas, he was very proud of him, and this time, he was allowed to stay on the Northwestern Railway. And now, Diesel tries his hardest to be a really useful engine.